Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Odette and I do fashion, lifestyle and self-development videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So today I'm showing you guys what I have in my luxury bag collection. I do have nine bags in total, which is not that bad. But before I get to the bags, I wanted to say I know it's been a while since I actually posted something here. Um, I do apologize. I started a new role this year and it has just been extremely busy for me but things are getting much better now so we should be back to our regular once a week uploading and um, yeah that's what I wanted to say let's get straight right into the video so in my collection as I mentioned I do have nine bags I'm gonna start with my favorite brand which is Saint Laurent and I'm actually going to start with my favorite bag in that brand so first up is this gorgeous Saint Laurent Lulu this is a small bag and it's the beige color with the gold hardware or the vintage gold hardware this is my favorite bag i haven't worn her out yet if you watch my birthday haul video then you know i actually bought um a similar bag well the same one but it's, it's not this one it's a different one from heathrow airport when i was traveling for my birthday trip but that bag had a lot of wrinkles and i mentioned that i was going to send it back to harrods and ask for an exchange unfortunately they were not able to give me an exchange because they didn't have a replacement one for me so i sent it back but i found this one at essence and i actually found it for the price of the original lulu bag before the price increased and i was trying to figure out why it was cheaper than what it should be but i think it's because this particular one is not the light base which is the newer color that has come out this one is actually in the dark beige and then the second thing as well is that if you look at it inside it does have this dent right here so maybe that's why they were selling it at, a, at the original price rather than the up updated price or the increased price I don't know that's the only thing I can think of because that's probably the only I would say defect with this bag is just this but again you can't actually see it because obviously the bag would be like this but that's pretty much the only I would say defect that the bag has other than that it's smoother so yeah this is the replacement for my birthday one that I had to return and I'm super pleased that I found this one this one was actually on my 2020 luxury wish list so i am happy that i picked up this one so my second favorite bag is a quilted lulu bags in the toy size and this is the black one so again if you saw my 2020 wish list you would have seen that um i wanted to actually purchase the small either in the all black color with the black hardware or the one I just showed you now. But I still really like this one for a lot of reasons. Um, it's a very nice bag and it's also great for evening bag as well. It's great for day bag, evening bag. I do plan to buy a black chain strap to wear with this one. Having yet done that, when I do, I would obviously upload pictures so you can see what that looks like. And by the way, speaking of pictures, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram so that you can see how I style well, these bags and my outfits as well. But yeah, so I ended up picking up this one i think this was like a chris my christmas present i got this one for christmas for myself but yes this is kind of my second favorite bag and i tend to wear this one a lot when i'm running errands or if i'm going to test calls etc this is mostly where i wear this one but once we start going out i wear it in the evening and during daytime and um yeah and the third bag in my Saint Laurent collection is the mini lou bag i feel like the only thing missing from the lou line is the lulu puffer this color i think it's called pebbled if i'm not mistaken but it's more like a I want to say a foresty green. I think it is picking up the true color on the camera. Yes, yeah, like a forest green, but I really love the forest green with the gold hardware. This is one of my favorite colors. It goes with a lot of the outfits that I have. It goes amazing with browns, beige, black as well. I'm currently wearing this, um, it's like an oatmeal type color, and it goes amazing with this one as well. It even looks good against my lipstick. Quite a versatile bag, surprisingly enough. And I actually like this one because I feel like compared to the other two, I do not have to baby this one. This is made of this grain embossed leather, which means it doesn't scratch easily, which is just the perfect thing to have when you have a bag like this, especially a bag that you use quite frequently like I do with this one. So I'm quickly gonna go to my final Saint Laurent bag. The final bag that I have from Saint Laurent is my Kate bag. This was actually the first Saint Laurent bag that I ever bought. I was actually thinking about selling this bag because um, I haven't worn this bag well, in a very long time. When I bought it, I was thinking about weddings, going out for dinner with friends, going out on dates, etc. So I haven't really put this to good use since the lockdown and I really wanted to sell it. And my friend was just like, why the hell are you selling that bag? Lockdown is not permanent. We're going to start going out at some point and you're going to regret. So I purchased this bag from Vista Village at such a discount. I think it was 40% off. And so if I sell it and I regret it, 
then I probably would not get the same color and I probably wouldn't get the same discounts, especially after we've had the price increase from Saint Laurent. So I just decided I'm just gonna keep it. This is such a gem, I love the color. Again, it's perfect for going out for occasions, for dinner dates, outings, uh, weddings, etc. This is just an amazing bag. So that's it for my Saint Laurent bags. The other bags that are left, I only have one of each, like one of each brand. So I'm just gonna pick them at random. It's not gonna be in any order like I did for the Saint Laurent. So this is the next bag and it's an Alaya laser cut bag actually. And when I was purchasing this one, I purchased it more as a workwear bag, even though it's quite a small bag and it does have an opening. So there's no way that you can close the bag. So technically speaking, if I'm going on a train, do I want a bag that has no way of closing? Um, I don't know, but I thought that this is such a ladies bag and another reason why I really like this bag and why I picked this one up instead is because a lot of Alaya's laser cut bags do not have this opaque shielding, the white stuff that you see inside. A lot of times they are see-through, so you'd be able to see inside the bag. So essentially, if you don't want people to see what's inside your bag, you'd have to kind of put stuff inside a pouch inside the bag but this one already has this white leather behind the bag so it kind of stops people from seeing what's actually inside your bag so the bag is a little bit similar to most of the totes that we see out here like luxury totes where it has this pouch as you can see it still has the paper wrap because i haven't used it just yet and it comes with a mirror as well i actually thought it came with a strap but apparently this one doesn't actually have a strap i probably picked this bag up for approximately anywhere between 40 to 50 percent discount the original price of what Amina bag would have con would have cost so I got very lucky and this bag is actually brand new so it's never been used before it actually came with the tag oh it still has a tag on it yeah still has the Alaya tag on it so I was very lucky to pick up this bag to be honest with you and that's all I'm gonna say but I really love this one because like I said I picked it up at such a still so yeah the next bag which is again my only Louis Vuitton bag and I plan to remedy that this year um, but it's my pochette Matisse. This bag was my most one bag last year. It's one of my favorite bags. This bag goes with everything that I own because I have a lot of browns and neutral tones and beige tones so this bag was like a safe I wear it to everything. I mean I don't know what else to say about this. This is such an amazing bag. I have worn it quite a lot and I love it because it's also top handle but it also comes with a strap. I absolutely love it and the crazy thing is when I actually bought this bag I didn't really I wasn't gravitating towards it for like the first couple of weeks and then the moment I started wearing it it just took over my life and I wore it everywhere anywhere and with almost everything that I own so this bag is just a perfect bag for me and I don't even see myself selling this bag it's not gonna happen <laughs> So the next bag I have to show you is my Valentino Rock Stud bag and this is in the Napa leather so it's really soft leather and has all these rock studs. Rock studs. I actually really love this bag. I haven't really had the opportunity to really use it as much as I could because this for me is an out-in bag but I absolutely love this bag because I haven't worn it at all or I haven't used it. I really felt bad that I had it in my, my collection. It was gathering dust compared to some of the other ones that I can still kind of wear to run errands at the moment. So yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing this one for days and everything I really like this one and I love that amongst all my bag I think this is the only one that's like a pop of color but I do have plans to change that I am looking at a couple of other bags um, yeah <laughs> I'm looking at a couple of other bags I'm just gonna say that for now and you're gonna see that in my wish list I feel like moving forward I want to do more colored bags because I have a lot of browns neutral toned bags I want to start venturing out into a lot of color schemes so that I have quite a wide and versatile collection um, but yeah so I have this one I actually picked this one up from the Valentino store at New Bond Street and I actually got this at 40% off. I'm gonna put a link to all the bags that I have unboxed on my channel just so that you can have a look at how they are. I'm just gonna put them down in the description bar. But this one actually comes with a chain strap as well. So this is the chain strap. And there are a number of ways that you can actually wear this bag. So I showed that in the box video that I did for this bag. So that's pretty much it for all my small bags. I'm gonna move on now to, I think I have two more bags left. One, and they're both like a work bag i consider them as a work bag the first one is my celine belt bag this is i think the medium size or was the is the biggest size i don't think there's a size bigger than this but this one i managed to wear quite a bit before lockdown actually came into effect because i have been in lockdown since february last year but i remember taking this to work quite a few times first before that and yeah i really love this bag i actually picked this one up from 
vest I wanted to say far fetched and I picked it up it's such a still this is um, pre-loved you can see that there's been some wear to it because you can see there's a bit of a dent here but I don't mind at all it's still quite in a very good condition to me I mean except for this and I have a feeling that I might have somehow contributed a bit to it being quite dented because I've only put a stuff in at the bottom part but I've put nothing in the top I feel like if I had actually stuffed it all the way to the top then it would have been a bit more like this and more puffy out there I might actually do that but other than that there was nothing there's no defects with the bag the feet come quite well I don't see any real signs of hard wearing on it I probably paid about 55% off the original price which is a massive still. I thought I got this at an amazing price. And the final item that I have to share is the Sun Rev Maestro bag. I don't know what it is, it's considered small or medium, I can't remember. But this is in this one and this is actually a beige color and is the one that has the two fabrics. So this is like suede and this is in an embossed leather fabric. This is my favorite workwear bag for a lot of reasons. Um, I don't know if you want me to do a review on this bag because I didn't do any unboxing or review for this bag but if you want me to do a review I can definitely do it for you so this bag even though I call it my work bag it doesn't actually fit my laptop but still I carry this bag to work um, when I was still waiting to work I used to alternate between this one and my Celine bag and yeah that was pretty much it this bag is just an amazing bag it's quite heavy if I'm gonna be honest with you so I can't actually put a lot inside otherwise it starts putting a lot of strain on my back on my shoulders but outside of that I still like this bag obviously they have feet so they're great and you can see it still has yeah, it still has the blue um, stickers on them because I yeah when I got it I wore it for maybe about a month or just, almost two months before lockdown kicked in and I haven't worn it since then but I hear that everyone is getting their vaccine so we're all going to be vaccinated this year so when that happens we should be good to go back to work. That's pretty much it for my luxury collection. I think for my collection most of them are kind of trendy or were at some point a bit trendy. The only two ones that I would say are not as out there is probably my Alaya bag which is not a very popular bag and I mean I could argue my Sarev but then I think a lot of people have a Sarev Outside of that, I think most of my collection are kind of like it bags or popular bags at some point in time. I do plan to expand my collection and move a bit towards the classic bags, etc. That's it for my collection. That's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching to this point. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content because I will be bringing more to you and turn on the notification bell as well so that you know every single time I upload and go ahead and follow me on my Instagram because I definitely would be posting pictures on there. It's been a while, but I would get back into the groove of things. So yeah, thank you so much for watching to this point and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.